Welcome to the future. Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. And uh, it's plugged in, so uh, let's fire this guy up. Now he turned this, this is a toggle switch, but it's got a safety on it where you can't, you can't just push it and turn it off or push it and turn it on. You have to actually pull it out and lift it up or down. Yeah, let's see here, what do we got? Okay, so it fired up. It's saying the outside temperature is 66. That's actually the, the temperature of the PCB. And my guess, it's a little bit warm inside there because this black is uh, being hit by the sun. It's probably warming it up back there. This temperature right here, of course, is a chamber temp and I don't have any probes plugged in, so they're all zero. Turn on the barbecue. You just, you gotta press and hold the stop start button for at least four seconds. And it's gonna start into a warm up state, as you can see i think i'm gonna just go ahead and adjust the temperature up well this will start at 250 and i'm gonna hit enter so we've got about four minutes left for the warm-up cycle to end and then it's going to go into profile one which since we're not uh we're just using the front panel right here it's just going to stay on profile one forever and so it'll just hit 250. And this is really nice if you just want to uh, throw some burgers on there. You don't care about, you know, setting up the computer or using your phone. Come out, turn it on, whatever temperature you want, and let it rip. Let's, let's give it a few minutes, make sure this thing's going to work okay. But I do hear the fan running. Uh, we should see some smoke coming out of here pretty soon. Oh, there it goes. I, I see some smoke. I do believe everything is working the controller again i'm just gonna plug these guys in and if you see my previous videos you know this takes a while it's it's got to pull it it's it for every 30 seconds now we've got all the probes working i'm gonna call this controller tested it's uh it's been field tested let's just say it's been field tested so this is a beta beta test controller number one field tested and done we're gonna hook up beta three here to three and I'm going to try to hook this up where you can see it in the camera and the reason I've done it like this so you guys can see easier and uh, normally if I was just going to do this I would I would clean this up. This you don't want to leave it, leave the fiberglass dangling like that. But this is going to be a, a quick test for the beta three in it. And uh, okay, so we've got our chamber probe connected, and uh, and it says chamber on the PCB. I think I pointed that out yesterday. Um, my barbecue does not have color coding, so I have labeled my connectors O for orange, R for red, and of course black and let's see here somewhere around here oh here's my igniter igniter is well it's supposed to be purple i do believe we got orange for the fan red is is the auger purple is the igniter and black is the power okay i hope everyone can see that okay there we go yeah so the older grills don't aren't color coded like the newer ones are but uh it's easy to figure out this is obviously connected to the to the auger right now your screws just you can just use the, the Traeger controller screws that came out of the old controller so I'm gonna go anyway these these screws are for this plexiglass right here you won't have those they're, they're very long so everything's wired up nothing's in the way of the fan we're ready to plug it in and fire it up okay got the barbecue plugged in let's go ahead and fire it up Outside temperature 64. That's of course the PCB temperature. Uh, this is the probe or the chamber temp 66.8. Yeah, let's just fire it up. I I don't have any probes plugged in. Okay, so I went ahead and plugged the probes in. And one of them's uh, in port one. It's just the pit boss. It's a pit boss probe. It's just a two wire PT1000. A second port is a knockoff trigger probe, which is a two wire PT1000. And a third part is port is a actual real trigger probe which is a PT-1000. And I go ahead and just start it up, push and hold the stop start button until it beeps. 
Okay. And just set your temperature. Right now it's up to 180. We'll just set it to 250. Hit enter. There it goes. Okay, so I went ahead, let it warm up a little bit, and now I just put it in a down cool down state. Uh, you can see all three probes are reading. It's interesting there at the bottom of my can in there that's surrounding the chamber probe, and they are all reading like different temperatures, and the chamber probe's reading reading kind of high, and I guess because that chamber probe is sticking up higher in the air. So everything looks pretty good. It's in cool down mode. I'm gonna call beta unit three a pass. Okay, we're going to be testing beta unit 4 here. I'm going to go ahead and wire up the temperature pro the chamber temp. Okay, make sure to have your barbecue unplugged. Don't want to work on this thing plugged in. We're going to go ahead and wire it up. So, uh, purple on the controller is the uh, igniter. And yeah, we'll go ahead and get that guy plugged in there. These are just Molex connectors. They're keyed, so you can only plug them in one way. The um, the red wire is the auger. Okay. And on the newer Traeger grills, these will all be color-coded, so you just match up the colors, right? And uh, let's see. Let's just, this is the fan right here, and fan is orange. Black is, is power. That's all the wiring. Oh, you also want to make sure the wires are away from the fan and the auger and uh, everything else. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's fire this guy up and let's plug in our meat probes. Probably should have done that first. All right, let's see. That's the uh, pr uh, port one as a standard trigger, port two as a knockoff trigger probe, and port three has got pit boss probe. Okay, so the controller is fired up. Uh, you can see all the probes are, are reading pretty close to the same, I guess. And I got one a little bit out, but all right, let's go ahead and fire them up. Now push and hold. So probe one, the one that's reading 98, another two are reading 92, and the chamber's reading 95. I guess it just depends on where they're at inside the grill, right? We have uh, three probes. They're all PT-1000s plugged in. They're all reading. Well, they're reading pretty close to the same. This one's, uh, at least two are okay. That one's a little low. Sure what's going on there. I think some of these probes read at different speeds. I, I bet if we turn it off, they'll probably, uh, let's try the shutdown mode. Okay. Yeah, so now it's going into cool down. All the all three probes are reading okay. The chamber te temperature probes reading okay. I'm gonna call beta beta unit number four a pass. Got beta unit number five. I'm gonna hook it up. Do a field test. I'm gonna hook up the chamber probes first. Anyway, we've got the uh, chamber probe tied into the um, little terminal blocks. It has a, it's a two wire to three wire converter. And I've talked about that in the previous test. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy into the hole. And uh, now on your grill, it, m it might be wise to, before you wire it so it doesn't fall out. And uh, I didn't do this in the last one, but uh, it's probably wise to put at least one screw in it so the controller doesn't fall out while you're wiring it. It actually sits very good in mine without falling out, but it might not in yours. So it's just a good idea to go ahead and at least get them started in there so the controller won't fall out right okay we've got four different wires purple is igniter orange is fan red is auger and black is power so i'm gonna hook the power up these are keyed molex connectors or directional i should say yeah red is auger purple is igniter orange is fan okay and if i didn't mention earlier you should always make sure it's unplugged uh, before you get started I'm gonna plug the probes in. These are all PT-1000. One's a pit boss and the other two are, well one's a real Traeger probe. Uh, this one right here and this is a knockoff Traeger probe I believe and it's gonna go right there and right here. Okay and we're ready to fire up. Got the barbecue plugged in. You have to pull the toggle switch to uh, turn it on. You pull it out and move it. Just keep it from getting knocked while it's running, you know, in case you brush against it, 
you don't want to turn off your barbecue in the middle of the cook. Okay, so controller's fired up. You can see the probes are they're reading about the same. 127, 128, 127. Let's see, 127.6, 127.5, 128.7, and 127.9. So, uh, yeah, they're all pretty close. They're just all tied together inside the and tied to the rack inside the barbecue. I'm sure whichever probes are touching the rack are probably the hotter ones. Got some probe too. Okay, let's fire this guy up. Press and hold the stop start button till you hear it beep or you hear the fan come on, whichever comes first. And I don't know if I explained it earlier, but the, the whole point of this testing is yeah, we want to make sure the probes work. Of course, I can test the probes on the bench, but I want to make sure that the fan, the auger's running okay, the fan's running okay, the igniter's running okay, and all these things pull a load on the controller so if there's anything that's not just right uh, we should see it here and uh, you know like if the fan doesn't come on or the auger doesn't turn or the igniter doesn't ignite then we know something's wrong and this is the best way I can think of to test it is on the grill. Look at that. We got them all three reading the same now. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit the stop button. So it'll go into cool down mode. So everything looks pretty good. I'm going to call beta unit number five a pass. We are on beta unit number six. The last one. And, uh, so far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and tie in the... The chamber probes, PT-1000. Been watching this video, you've probably got tired of me saying that, haven't you? But for people that are just jumping around watching the individual controllers, the chamber probe is a PT-1000 RTD. Okay, so we got the chamber probe tied into the two wire to three wire connector. Okay. So for the wiring, we have four different color wires and uh, black is power. Red is the auger, orange is the fan, purple is the igniter. Okay, so we plug it in the probes. Port one's gonna have a pit boss probe, it's a PT-1000. Probe two is gonna have a, a real trigger probe. And port three is gonna, I believe this is a knockoff. It, it might be a, a real trigger probe. I, I don't remember. I, I don't have it labeled, so I don't remember. Okay, so we have the probes plugged in. I also plugged in the, um, the power. So next is to fire it up. Okay, we can see our outside temperature is 73 degrees. We've got everything powered up. You can see it's 71 degrees outside. All the probes are reading about the same. 128, 129, and 129. And uh, let's fire this guy up. By the way... To turn the controller on, or to turn the barbecue on, you do not flick the, the toggle switch. That's to power on and off the controller. Okay, to start the barbecue, you just press and hold the stop start button for about four seconds, or until you hear the fan come on. We are testing beta unit number six, and lucky number six, uh, I actually see a problem. And if you can kind of watch the outside temperature, everything else looks okay. The probes are reading okay, the chamber temp, you know, looks okay. Okay. The probes are basically just tied directly to the grill. That's probably why they're a little hotter. But watch this outside temp. See, it just jumped from 57 and now it's 67 and now it's 66. think there is something wrong on that board. Yeah, see, now we're down. It just went from, what, 66 to 59. And I'm pretty sure it's not swinging 10 degrees outside. Oh, now it's 73. That's actually probably accurate. Uh, I don't know. It is getting a little chilly out here. And the wind is blowing a little bit, but uh, 10 degrees... Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to put that. I didn't. I don't remember seeing the other ones doing this. So my guess is this one has got a problem. Which is the whole point of field testing or testing in general is you want to make sure that uh, your units are working perfectly before <laughs> you ship them to your customers. So I'll have to put this one on the bench and take a look at it. Don't forget, you can support the Muxall Open IoT channel by donation, using a credit card and PayPal, or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
Thank you.